we are now at question 8 of this CSEC math exam for January 2012 video solution. And question 8 is about a sequence of square patterns made from straws. And these are the first three figures in the pattern or in the sequence of pattern. Four straws are used to make the sides of the squares and then two longer straws are used for the diagonals and this is a sequence of patterns so an additional square with the diagonals is added and in the third figure another one is added so there's one square in the first two squares in the second and three squares in the third now if you observe what really happens is that five straws are added to each figure because there are one, two, three, four, five, six in the first figure. But then to get the second figure, we add one, two, three, four, five. So five straws are added to the first figure to get the second one. And then five straws are added to the second figure to get the third one. Right? So those are our initial observations. Now the first question. Part A is asking us to draw the fourth figure. And the fourth figure is going to be obtained by just adding an additional square here with the diagonals. So we should have four squares and the diagonals in each. So part A, as I said, is asking for figure number four. And that would be figure number four in the sequence. Alright, so let's move down to part B. Now, part B gives us this table for the sequence. Here we have the figure numbers and here we have how the straws are calculated. This is a formula for calculating the number of straws and this is the resulting number of straws for the figures. So, the first figure, as we said, has 6 straws. The second figure has 11 straws and the third figure has 16 straws, right? And then this is a formula that is used and we can observe that the numbers down here match the figure numbers here. In each case, we are multiplying by six. And then here we have one less than the figure number in each case. So we have a one here and the figure number is two. And when the figure number is 3, we have a 2 here. So we can see the pattern. We can see the sequence. And we are asked to complete the table for figure 4, which will be in this row. And for figure 10, which would be in this row. And all we need to do, as I said, is observe the pattern and continue that pattern. I also wanted to observe that after 6 straws were used in the first figure, Five straws were added to get the second figure, so that six plus five is 11. And then five straws were added to get the third figure, such that 11 plus five is 16, right? And that pattern, that sequence will continue all the way down, right? For any number of patterns, all right? So let's go ahead and complete the rules, all right? So for this cell, as we observe, the figure number is four. So 4 should come in front, followed by the 6, and then we should be subtracting 3, 1 less than the 4. So that should be the formula for figure 4. And if we do this calculation, we should get 21, because we should add 5 to 16 to get the number of straws in the fourth figure. And so if we do this calculation, it should be 21. And that is 4 times 6 is 24 minus 3, that's 21. So that confirms that this formula is correct. And then we are required to complete the rule for figure 10, which is this rule. And then if we observe and continue this same pattern, we should have 10 in front, 6 in the bracket, minus 9, which is 1 less than 10. Right? So we can put that in. And that's it. 10 multiplied by 6 is now 60. 60 minus 9 is 51. So the number of straws here 
it's actually 51. And there we have completed the table for figure number four and for the figure number 10. Now let's move to part C. And part C is asking us which figure uses 106 straws. That's what question C is asking us to determine which figure uses 106 straws. Now, remember that there are six straws in the first figure. So if you remove the six straws for the first figure, right, we know that six straws are used in the first figure. And then for each subsequent figure, five straws are used. So the 100 straws that are remaining, the 100 straws that are remaining are used for the other figures and there are five straws used in each of those other figures. And if there are 100 straws, five used for each, then there are actually 20 other figures. So there are 20 figures using five straws each and then the first figure, which is using six straws. So in total, there are 21 figures using the 106 straws. So figure number 21 will use 106 straws. And so we can go ahead and write that. Figure 21 uses 106 straws. Now part D is asking us to obtain an expression for the number of straws in the nth figure, right? So that's when the figure number is n. So we want an expression that can be used to calculate the number of straws that will be used in the nth figure. So let's go back to the table and continue the pattern so we can work out what that formula is or what that expression is. Now let's put in a figure number n in the table. Now the figure number in the table is n. We know that n should be in the front, in front of the 6, right? And then we should be subtracting 1 less than n, that is n minus 1. So the formula that will be used to represent the number of straws when the figure number is n will be given by this. n multiplied by 6 minus 1 less than n, which is given by n minus 1. So this is a formula that will be used to calculate the number of straws in the nth figure. And if we do this calculation to reduce this formula, we see that we would have 6n minus n, that's 5n, and then minus minus 1 would give us plus 1. So the result of this, we would end up with 5n plus 1. And we can go ahead and show that in the numbers column. Right, so that's it 5n plus 1. So, therefore, this is the expression that will calculate the number of straws in the nth figure or in the nth pattern. So, that's our answer 5n plus 1. Right, so that's the solution for that question 8, and we will look at question 9 in our next video. See you then.